Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. Today we're in our AV-8B Harrier and we're looking at the targeting pod known as the lightning pod. It is a pod that we can use to search and find targets, lock those targets and pass information to the weapons to deploy the weapons. We can fire our IR guided mavericks, we can fire our laser guided mavericks with the T-Pod, we can fire laser, drop laser guided bombs or we can buddy lays for other aircraft. So let's go to the arming screen. We can have it on pylon 4B, which I'll put it on. You can also have it on pylon 5 if you prefer and on pylon 3. So with regards to weapons, I've already shown using the T-Pod for dropping laser guided bombs and laser guided mavericks in two other videos. But I haven't shown dropping IR or shooting IR mavericks, so we will do that today using the T-Pod. While we're doing that, let's go and have a look at the controls that we're going to be using. So, to fire our weapon, we're going to be using Bomb Pickle. To lock our target with the IR Maverick, we're going to be using TDC down. To slew our TDC around, we're going to do TDC left, forward, aft and right. And we'll need sensor select forward to select our IRMV. Okay. Weapons equipped, let's take off and find a target. So we're going to load up our T-Bod on our right MFD main menu T-Bod. We're going to turn it on by unticking standby. We're going to give TDC control to this T-Bod by clicking TDC on and having the underline there. What we've got now is an octagon in our HUD here. This is where the camera or the sensors on the T-Bod are facing. The T-Bod has two sensors. It has a, if you like, a TV sensor and an infrared sensor. It also has a laser, a target designating laser. Uh, this is where the sensors are faced at the moment. They are currently slaved to the bore site of the aircraft, so they go wherever I move the aircraft. So the first thing to do is to maneuver our aircraft so we can see the bad guys, put them roughly in our octagon here, press one of the two TDC slew commands, I use the down command, that will lock the T-Pod onto that air, rough area on the ground where our bad guys are. Then we can go up into a high orbit, put on our autopilot, and then start looking at our T-Pod options a bit more. So let's get that done first. Okay, we've got some bad guys here somewhere. So we're going to maneuver our octagon over the top of them. TDC slew down. Bing. Okay, and that's now locked it onto that area. And you can see wherever I move the aircraft now, the T-Pod is keeping a track on that area. So now I'm going to get into an orbit up high. Okay, we are now orbiting around the target at Angels 15. We're just going to turn our autopilot on. FC on, altitude hold on. And let's have a closer look at the targeting pod options. So it will go counterclockwise and look at these options. We're not going to go to every single option because I want to keep it relatively brief. So I'm just going to show you the commands that I use basically and what I find I need to use and, and just pass over the stuff that I don't either know or need to use. So first option here switches between the uh, TV, the optical or the IR. So CCD is optical. Flur is IR and you can see we've got an uh, IR display here. With the IR we get some extra options over here. We get white hot or black hot that inverts the polarity of what we see. So white hot, the hot things show as white, black hot, they show as black. Okay, uh, when we've got our flur on as well we also get to change the IR gain. I believe it's between 1 and 9. Now that is something that is going to be useful when it's implemented. As far as I'm aware, it's not implemented yet and doesn't do anything. We've got zoom, which goes between one and nine, so we can zoom in and zoom out. We've got data and we've got quite a lot of options here. So symbology brightness up and down there. VCR, this opens up a whole other sub menu and it's all to do with recording, video recording, I believe. As far as I'm aware, it has no real relevance. Turn that off, back to data. Uh, we've got focus here, we can go uh, change the focus of the image and we've got other options here. As far as I'm aware, there's nothing of actual relevance that I want to look at today. So data off. Uh, the next thing is field of view, wide field of view or narrow field of view. Then we've got different modes of the T-Pod to track. So we've got AR slash PT at the moment so that we've got selected so AR is area track so that is tracking a point on the ground if you like 
if it went to point track then then it would be tracking uh, an object something with discernible side something it can discern as an object and although it's not doing it at the moment, it will automatically change from area to point track if I were to highlight it over a tank. We'll go in a bit more detail with that and get that working. We have the distance from me to the selected uh, point where the T-Pod is tracking, so 4.3 miles at the moment. We've got the bearing from me to the selected point of the T-Pod. We have INR tracking here, so that's inertial navigation reference tracking. Now I haven't learned this myself, so I won't cover it, but I believe it's where you can get the T-Pod to track a position that by setting its, uh, you know, its coordinates, its northing and easting and elevation that way. And this is the LSS, the laser spot tracking. So this is where you can have the T-Pod seeking another laser from a, from a third party aircraft it can sp it can find that laser and then set its position to where that laser is designated on the ground and then we can employ laser guided weapons directly on our third party buddy laser laser or we can employ our own weapons on that point different types of tra uh, tracking we've got area point inertial and laser spot so we're just going to stick to these two today menu to get back out of here next standby we've looked at turns it on and off tdc gives us our TDC slew control so we can move it with our TDC up down left and right commands there is more to this we can turn this to a HOTAS mode but I don't really want to go over that today I haven't found it particularly useful myself game we've been over so we can head up to the top now we have the time here I should say we also have our current laser code selected we're not going to go into changing laser codes today because I've done it on the uh, laser weapon videos but that can be changed in the LST or TV screens We've got the northing and easting and elevation of the point selected by our teapot. And then we've got the laser commands at the top. So currently the laser is safe. We cannot use the laser targeter. That is armed. Uh, L range, laser ranging. We can use the laser ranging here to press that. Fire to actually fire the laser. And when it's firing, it's got an underline. Then the three different types of laser mode. We've got training, marker and laser. Training is it simulates the laser beam and it doesn't actually fire the laser beam when you click fire Marker means that it will it will not be target designating But it, there will be a laser being fired and the reason for this is to show optically to other aircraft What I am marking uh, so if the other aircraft turned on their night vision goggles they would see my marker beam visually by looking outside and they can see therefore what I am targeting and then they can use that for whatever they need to if they need to slew their own TDC over to my target or something like that and finally the actual targeting laser like that so if it was on laser and I was firing we would have a flashing L which meant that I was firing a target designating laser turn it off and put it safe now I've already shown the T-Pod in use with firing laser guided Mavericks and laser guided bombs so we're not going to go over that again. What we will show is using opt uh, IR guided Mavericks on the, one of these targets here and then we'll also go and find a moving target to show that we can track and fire at a moving target as well. So the first thing is to lock up one of these vehicles here so we're going to unpause, we're going to zoom in to get a better look. Now what we're going to do is, is slew around until it locks onto one of these targets and we know it was locked onto one of these targets because it will change to point track here rather than area track. And you can see we're now, we're now on point track so it's got that target selected. Next we're going to get our weapons ready. So we're going to choose our Mavericks, Master Arm, Air to Ground and get uh, into a firing position they're right down there as you can see so I should be able to head straight to them so when I'm roughly heading towards them I can cage uncage my Mavericks and it will automatically slew to the point as designated ah here's a good thing I should point out if my aircraft is at such an orientation that the T-Pod is essentially looking through my aircraft then that's what it will do it's now looking literally at the side of my aircraft so it's still tracking the point the INS point but it just so happens in the way of the IR camera is me so you get that a lot basically so the best way to avoid that is to orbit up high and um, it helps to uh, to negate that anyway let's carry on so I'm going to uncage my Maverick and that is one thing I forgot to show earlier cage uncage there uh, sorry I forgot to click stores yep they're ready uncage and 
you can see on the Maverick screen now, so this is what the actual Maverick IR synth is, is seeing. It's got exactly the same target, all locked up, up and ready to go. Next, I want to press the sensor select forward to select IRMV here. So let's do that. And then click TDC action. That locks the target, and we know it's locked because the crosshair here closes in on the target as before it ended about here. Now the crosshairs are closed in, and that's it. We're ready to fire. So we're going to push the bomb pickle when we're in range, and we get three. We've got the in range cue there. Let's fire at that. Fingers crossed. That should be a hit. Boomy. Right. So that's that. And now we're going to track some moving targets. There they are. They're over there. So, I'm actually going to head out this way and up again so I can get an orbit so I can track. In fact, I'm going to come in for a different type of approach this time. I'm going to head out to sea and come straight towards them and we'll get them that way. Okay, we're going to turn back in. And already we can start using our TDC slew. We can use our TD slew when we're turned at any angle uh, to the targets. And I'm going to look for those bad guys. And there they are, I believe. So, I'm going to zoom in. See if I can lock one of them up. Um, I should mention to lock one of the targets up, you just hover the TDC uh, crosshair above the target and it will automatically lock. And to unlock, just move it away. So you can see we're locked. We've got our point track in place, so it's locking that target. So we just repeat the process now. So Maverick uncage. Center select forward for IRMV select. And we're going to press target uh, TDC action here, and you'll see it's got a lock. Wait for the in range. We've got in range, and we're going to fire the rifle. And that should be tracking and locking a moving target. I don't think they're moving very far. Yeah, they're moving. They're on the move. Lovely jubbly. I didn't realize I selected that guy, but apparently I did. Right, so that's that's shown how to fire IR Mavericks. So we've already shown the laser Mavericks and the laser bombs in the other the video. It's shown the basic overview of how to use the teapot. I've missed some options out because I either don't know them or don't need them. But I hope that's enough to get started on that you were started on the teapot. Hope that helps and see you later.